Welcome to the Heavy Spoilers Show. I'm your host Definition and with American Horror Story 1984 opening a new chapter in terror, I thought I'd go back and look at the real life killers, places and crimes that inspired some of the show's most sinister moments. Throughout this video I'll be going over some of the major things that led to the show's scariest scenes. There are some minor spoilers here, so if you aren't fully up to date with everything before 1984 then I highly suggest that you turn off now. With that out of the way, I just want to give a huge thank you for clicking this video. Now let's get into our breakdown of the 5 real life killers, places and crimes that inspired American Horror Story. Briar Cliff Manor in the Asylum Briar Cliff Manor is the central location of season 2 of American Horror Story titled The Asylum. This was pretty much hell on earth throughout the show and was the centre of many ghastly experiments, human rights violations and several murders. Whilst the manor seems too evil to be an actual place, the inspiration behind it is in fact far more terrifying. Briarcliff Manor is based on the real life asylum, Willowbrook State School. This innocuous sounding location was a government funded school that provided support for children with learning difficulties and disabilities. The school which was open from 1947 till 1987 was initially supposed to only house 4,000 though these numbers increased to 6,000 over the years. This led to a massive outbreak of diseases including hepatitis but rather than try and treat the disease, the children that lived there were tested and experimented on to see if there were ways to stop outbreaks. One of these experiments involved infecting 60 children with the disease and then monitoring them. This led to their eyes and skin discolouring and turning yellow and also caused mass vomiting. All of the children became ill and due to public outcry the experiments were shut down. The psychopathic doctors that worked there tried to justify the experiments by saying that the children would all get the disease anyway so it was ok to run tests. However, after Senator Robert Kennedy toured the building in 1965, he said that the majority of those living there were in unhabitable conditions, surrounded by dirt and in rooms that were not even fit to be cages. This led to a huge decline in the reputation of the school and its numbers slowly begun to dwindle until 1986 when the population sat in the 200s. This led to its closure, though the pain it caused will likely live on forever in the victims of the home. The Ghost Nurses The ghost nurses that are prevalent throughout season 1 are actually based on real life murders that were carried out by Richard Speck. Speck was a serial killer who systematically tortured and murdered 8 student nurses from South Chicago Community Hospital on July the 13th 1966. Speck has re-emerged in pop culture recently due to his appearance in the Netflix series Mindhunter in which he leaves a chilling reminder for the two protagonists that interview mass murderers in the United States. Ryan Murphy, co-creator of American Horror Story, stated that the nurses were inspired by Speck's brutal killing spree and that they stand as a reminder of the horrors that he inflicted and how his murders ruined many lives. The Hotel Cortez The Hotel Cortez which appears in the American Horror Story season, Hotel 2 has a dark inspiration behind it, the infamous Cecil Hotel. The hotel itself has been the home of over 30 deaths and acts of violence over the years and it's gained a huge reputation on the internet as one of the darkest places on earth. The 600 room hotel has 19 floors, each one of them with a terrifying history. In addition to all the suicides, Richard Ramirez, the serial killer known as the Night Stalker, was a regular guest there and apparently engaged in some of his killings whilst a resident at the hotel. Jack Unterberger, Austrian serial copycat killer who was a fan of Ramirez too stayed at the hotel and similar to the Night Stalker carried out multiple murders whilst a guest. In 2013 the case of Elisa Lam went viral due to CCTV footage of her where she's seen acting erratic at the hotel. Lam looks like she's hiding from someone and cowers in a lift before seemingly disappearing off screen. Her body was later found in a water cistern which residents had been drinking from for weeks. The entrance to the cistern would have been far too heavy for her to lift and due to her behaviour in the CCTV footage you get the feeling that she was being followed. As of now though we don't know exactly what happened to Lam and why she ended up in the cistern and it remains one of the world's most famous unsolved mysteries. 
Even with the rebrand as the stay on main hotel, it seems to be unable to shake the bad luck surrounding it and is notorious as one of the scariest places on earth. The hotel too shares some similarities with H. H. Holmes' infamous murder castle, which the notorious serial killer had built in order to carry out his killings easily, which I'll discuss in more detail in the next point. James March James March too appears in the American Horror Story Hotel season, and the character played by Evan Peters is inspired by H. H. Holmes who is thought of by many to be America's first serial killer. Holmes was born in 1861 in New Hampshire and moved to Chicago in 1886 where he slowly began to operate as a hotelier after purchasing a lot in 1887. On the grounds Holmes constructed what would come to be known as his murder castle. The hotel was a maze, full of staircases that didn't go anywhere, hidden passages and rooms and hallways that seemed to go on forever. Holmes soundproof rooms and built chutes that led to a basement filled with a crematorium and acid vats so that he could dispose of bodies easily. Though Holmes confessed to 27 murders upon his capture, the numbers are thought to be in the 130s and the fact that he was so good at disposing of bodies allowed him to operate for many years. Holmes left Chicago in 1894 and was captured by police in 1895 where he was subsequently hanged for his many crimes. Holmes is seen as America's answer to Jack the Ripper, though his killings go far beyond the infamous Victorian murderer. The Vanishing Colony of Roanoke Roanoke is one of the scariest seasons of American Horror Story and it centres around a ghostly group of settlers that wish to bring terrible vengeance to those that disturb their land. The Vanishing Colony of Roanoke is regarded by many as America's oldest unsolved mystery. Up there with the Mary Celeste, the colony's disappearance has went on to influence the first settlers of Derry and Stephen King's It, though the true story is even more terrifying. The story begins in 1587 and centres around a group of English settlers that arrived on Roanoke Island in North Carolina. John White, the colony's leader, decided that he would sail to England for supplies, but after a war broke out between England and Spain, he was called up to arms by the Queen. White didn't get a chance to return to Roanoke until 1590, which is when he returned to the settlement to find that all had completely disappeared. His wife, daughter and granddaughter had completely vanished and all that remained was the word Croatoan carved into a wooden post. The word Croatoan has appeared at the sites of numerous disappearances throughout the centuries and it always seems to be mysteriously linked to a group of people vanishing. Croatoan itself was the name of a Native American tribe from an island of the same name and conspiracy theorists believe that the group may have been abducted by this tribe and cannibalized. Other people theorize that they were absorbed into the tribe and in 2007 there were attempts to analyze the DNA of the ancestors in the area to see if they were part of the lineage, though nothing positive has come of this yet. There's also a possibility that the settlers tried to sail for supplies themselves after White did not return and they either came face to face with the Spanish army or met another fate at sea. Either way, their disappearance forced the following settlers to be more selective about where they decided to place their camps and this led the following communities to thrive. Roanoke still stands as one of America's biggest mysteries and it's unlikely that we will ever get answers to exactly what happened. And that's our list of the five real life killers, places and crimes that inspired American Horror Story. Obviously I'd love to hear your thoughts on this and which one of them you find the creepiest. Comment below and let me know and if you enjoyed this video then please like it and make sure you check out my breakdown of every time that Pennywise appeared in the background of a scene in It Chapter 1 and 2. I go through both films and point out the hidden appearances of the clown that you might have missed so it's definitely worth checking out if you want to know more. If you want to come talk to me about movies, TV shows, games and comic books then you can follow me on Twitter at DefinitionYT. It's the best way to get in touch with me and it's the perfect place to suggest new videos and content so hopefully I see you over there after this. Also just want to let you know that we're giving away a free copy of Spider-Man Far From Home on Blu-ray and all you have to do to be in with a chance of winning is to like this video, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and leave your thoughts on American Horror Story 1984 in the comments section below. The winner will be chosen at random on October the 15th and the Blu-ray will be shipped out from then to whoever gets the prize, so best of luck to everyone who takes part. This is a channel for people who are never missing television, so if that's the kind of thing you like, you need to subscribe to Definition. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this, you've been the best and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.